Yes, to celebrate the start of the 2022 World Cup, platinum partners of Stoke City Football Club Food Hub have set out to find which cuisine will be crowned the world champion with the help of some very special judges. Please welcome Sam Klukas, Will Smallbone, Harry Sutar and Jordan Thompson. Right boys, we have a whole host of dishes from a number of countries taking part in this winter's World Cup. How are we feeling ahead of this one? A little bit nervous, nervous to be fair. You look a little nervous, nervous, yeah. Let's take a look at our first dish. This is the national dish of Senegal. Smoked fish, rice and sweet potato in a tomato sauce. Oh, that looks lovely, that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't oh, look half bad. Fantastic. That does not look half bad. Looks healthy. Clicky mm. straight in. Are you taking a pickle bit? Huh? Take a bit about no. the first. Just try to fetch me out. Chef's got that. Tastes like his rice. <laughs> <laughs> right, have we all had enough? Oh, that was alright. Keep, yeah, right. Keep that there, you're happy with that. Post match meal? Finishing that, yeah. No, I wouldn't say post match meal now. But not too bad. Alright, boys. First dish for Group A, done and dusted. Luke, you'll, you'll take that home with you. JT, what are we having? I'll start you off uh, two minutes. Two? Uh, oh, gosh. The fish gosh. was decent, like, but yeah. Yeah. not much happening, like, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so it wasn't great for me, like, so. Two. <laughs> Suits. Yeah, I'm going to give it a three. A spice on the fish was nice, but there's too many vegetables for me in there, so not really a veggie guy. Too many greens. Too many greens. All right, Will? No, I'm matching suits with a three. Don't mind it. Very <laughs> safe, I think. Don't mind it, Clicky. No. Where are we going? I'm going four. Very nice. Loved Enjoying it. it, yeah. Loved it. Going to carry on in a minute. <laughs> Okay, on to Group B, and there is only one place to start, of course, with England. Your next dish, boys, is Staffordshire. Okay. Look at those. Oh, goodness me. The presentation is beautiful. Let's just get that. Doesn't get much better. Get Straight that. in with the sauce. Straight in, so it's not bad, mate. Clicky, loving every bite? Yeah, top end. Yeah, to be fair, that is large. Oh good? No, I'm not going to fall, but... While Suits continues to fill his boots, <coughs> it is score time. JT, where are we thinking? I'll go with a three for this one. What makes you go for a three? Well, like the stalk food. Give it a three. Ah, oh, it was just a bit dry. I'm going to go about four. Talk to us about, about it. Four. You look like you've loved it. Yeah, doesn't it? It is really nice, and I'm really hungry, so... Uh, it's not quite a five. Well, your first time trying yeah. out cakes. No, Thoughts? I'd, yeah, I can give it a four as well. I think it's nice. I don't know what else you could have in it, but what was in it was, oh, was nice. Bacon, yeah. egg, beans, the list goes on. So we better beans, I think. Yeah, beans. a bit of bacon in there as well would have made it a five, I think. Mm. I'd go five, but I don't want it to look like I'm just trying to get points off on the stokey, so I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm gonna go four. It's very nice. Two dishes down, which takes us on to group C. Please welcome your Mexican dish of pulled chicken and soft Tacos. Is that your boss? I take this. Nice. Giving this one a wide berth, Sam. Yeah, I'm a big fan of kidney beans. They are kidney beans, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Amongst other things. But dry, isn't it? But dry. Thoughts, Will? <laughs> no, not for me. Not at all. Suits, I feel like you'd, you'd eat anything. <laughs> uh, not anything. Not anything. <laughs> But yeah, majority. <laughs> Talking in. Two. Oh, mm. Talk to us about it. Why are we going two? It was tasty enough, just a bit dry for me. So it was. It's a bit dry for it was, I know. But I'll give it a four yeah. for me. Like you just had a little yeah. one for you. It's it dry. Really nice. No, it's really nice, that. I'm going to give it a one. Yeah, no, that's not my cuisine, that. That's not my Not for food. you? No. I'm going to go zero. Because <laughs> I've not tried it and I wouldn't eat it, I wouldn't order it anyway. I'm not a big fan of kidney beans. No, I've never ordered that anyway. Well presented, thank you. <laughs> dish number four is a national dish, suits of Australia. Amazing. This is Jackaroo Pie. Your favourite, huh? Yeah, my family love this. <laughs> Mum and Dad absolutely love this. <laughs> Look at that. So this is taken oh, from the oh, British influence of a shepherd's pie, oh, a, but with an Aussie right, twist. Well. This tastes back to my childhood, actually. Yeah, it's so the Aussie things. twist comes in the form oh, of not. veggie mines. What's that smell like to you, Suits? Childhood, mate. <laughs> childhood. Growing That's up. That's sorry, no? What is that for? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't want to. I don't want to taste it. I really don't want to taste it. I really don't want to. Okay, go on now. 
That don't look too clever, does it? Nah. Nah. Nah, it's not bad. Oh, JT, get It's not bad. Yeah. Very cheesy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Actually done. <laughs> Big fat. Yeah. Talk to us about it. What, what was missing there? <sighs> Just doesn't look good at all before you even taste it, does it? I'm gonna give it a two. It's quite low, I know. That, that must be disappointing for you. Yeah. I so. would have eaten one free, mate. No, yeah. well, I know the lads are going to vote a low, oh, so I thought I'm going to have to be the one to to bring it high. I'm going to give it a one, just purely because suits are sat there. <laughs> I don't want to give it a zero. <laughs> don't mind it. One for me, just in, in suits' favour. Yeah. 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 yeah, thanks, guys. It would have been a zero. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Group E is a firm favourite of Jordan Thompson's. No pressure on this. Please welcome dish number five from Japan, sushi. Here we go, boys. How are we at chopsticks? Is that what you do? What is that one? Yeah, uh, dip it in a little bit of soy sauce. First, What's that one, Suze? I have no idea, mate. I just look the smallest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, cold as well. Oh, cold fish. Oh, good God. It's called finger dip, yeah? <laughs> is that squid? I have that one. Is that great? I'm still trying to swallow, man. That was nice, mate. Plant this soy yeah. sauce. <laughs> soy sauce and wood. So I like that. I'm going with a four. Yeah. yeah. Going with a four. Mm -hmm. Big sushi fan. All right, JT with the four. Yeah, hey, I'm going to go three. Didn't love it. Didn't mind it, but because it's Jordan's favourite. <laughs> I'm going to support him. You're always quite supportive, aren't you? Yeah. Nice guy. I'm going to cereal. All right, Will. I feel like that, that uh, side of the table is going to be quite yeah, low. Yeah, no, I'm giving that a one. Sushi's oh. never been my favourite, but I'll give it one to the sauce was okay. Mm. One for me, not a big fan of sushi. Sauce is very nice. Our next dish looks incredible. This is straight from Morocco. Dish number six is a Moroccan kebab, a Moroccan kwokban, popular street food dish and a favourite when grilling at home. This is marinated cubes of lamb and beef. Look at that. Got the lemon and lime. Right. Should we sprinkle the little? No, no, no. let's try. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I'll get a bit of lemon on now. Clinky, what the kebabs remind you of? Oh, nice out. Might have one sober for a while. Big Saturday night. I mean, you're struggling there, aren't you? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit dry, man. Sam, we're going to kick off with you this time. We're going to go at the far end. Scores on the doors for me. Got to go three. Middle of the road? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice taste, just do a little bit of sauce, I think. I'm gonna give it a four. That's my highest rated one. No, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I like my meat, so it's perfect for me. I'm gonna go for a four as well. You're such a positive yeah. No, well, I just, Every rating of yours no. has been I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, but I don't think you can really go wrong with a kebab, can you? Yeah. You can't really get it wrong. I, like I go it. three. It was nice, it was tasty enough, just a bit. <laughs> it's a bit dry. Okay, boys, this is your penultimate dish, dish number seven, straight from Group G. <laughs> Go on. All right, this is your next dish. is from Switzerland. This is the tartiflette, the perfect comfort food in the winter months. It's become one of the most consumed dishes in Switzerland and is actually French origin. Awesome. That's up to you to find oh, out. No, that's not, that's that does not look fun. It's like a Yeezy slider. Man. That's not going to be too dry. Not, it consists of potatoes. That is not going to be too dry. Cheese. Yeah. Very cheesy. Lardons. And Lardons. Onion. That's very nice. What's eating? Too jazzy. Spring, isn't it? Right, we ready for some scores? Let's start with Sam on the on the far end. Oh. Yeah, I'm going for the first oh. max. Wow. Ooh, that deserves a round of applause, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Bit of me that. Bit of potato, a bit of cheese. Yeah. Love a bit of cheese. Get a recipe yeah. off the chef for you. Compliments <laughs> to the chef, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll give it a two. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite not been quite enjoyed it as much. Uh, it's a bit too cheesy for me. I'm going to give it a one. Oh, even worse. Yeah, mm. didn't look great, didn't taste great. So yeah, we'll what, just move what, on to the next one. What did you like about that? Too cheesy, I just didn't like the texture of the potatoes. Hang on, three. No, and a three from uh, JT. Just a wee bit too so. cheesy, but it was tasty. It was tasty. Well, at least we got rid of it, it's not, it's not dry. I was going to go with a four, but I went for a sushi for four, so... Oh. You can't disrespect nah. the
Alright, our final dish of the day takes us to dish number eight, straight from Portugal. This is frango no churrasco. And that, boys, looks absolutely mm. divine. Mm. You take that side now, boys. Oh, look at that juice coming out of mm. Look at that. Just oh. eat the skin. But yeah, I need a wee bit of that skin. Skin's the best, isn't it? That's a winner. No, oh, it's soft as well. Mm. Mm. Will that, that looks like it's, it's up your street. Yeah, that's a bit nice. Could this be a late favourite? Right. That's a yeah. five. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Clicky Brown is off then. Your final dish. What are we thinking? I'm going for three. Three? Nice, nah, but. Is it too it's safe? Just, it's just chicken, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just, it's just chicken, yeah. isn't it? For me, I'm giving that five. Not really like it. <clears throat> soft, fell off the bone, and I think the London lime again made it a lot nicer. Yeah, I'll just repeat everything that he said there. Just five for me. Mate, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And I'm on a copy of the so There we go. And I'm going five as well. We do have a late winner. Please put your hands together for our world champion of cuisine, Portugal Frango No Churrasco.